Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Corner. I'm Cherie and thank you so much for joining us. Tech Corner is all about showcasing and highlighting the newest tech and gadgets so you can find out a little bit more before you buy. Today's topic is proximity marketing and I'm here with expert Steve McGarvey from Advertising Beacons. Welcome Steve, how are Hello. you today? Fabulous, thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you for being here. Steve, what is proximity marketing? Good question. <laughs> Start at the top, good question. What is proximity marketing? It's, it's about reaching out to people in your proximity that perhaps you wouldn't have been able to reach out to in the past. Uh, we use a little Bluetooth beacon and the cloud to get messages onto the screens of Android phones. Here's a, here's a little sample here of a, an advertising beacon. Uh, oh, I'm wearing one as well. I, wow. I actually f usually forget that I've got it on, but... Uh, so small. Yeah, so small, <laughs> uh, but so powerful. That is the amazing thing about them. So that is sending out a message, uh, potentially uh, 90 meters, or uh, for people of my generation, that's about 100 yards, which is, in, a, in a radius is, is, is quite, a, quite a distance. Um, now, just recently, uh, there was a tweak in the operating system that they use. Um, which opened up the ability to take advantage of this proximity marketing. Before this period, uh, before the tweak, let's call it, um, you would have to spend perhaps tens of thousands of pounds developing an app, then getting people to download it to their phones, which is also pretty difficult, in order to communicate with those devices. So I think this is a great leveller. It means the little guy has got a chance. The little guy can, can do what the big guys have been doing for quite a long time. It means that they can reach out to people in their proximity to try and entice them, encourage them, draw them into local businesses. So I think for the little guy, we've got a little business or a medium sized business, I think this is fantastic, so exciting. That is so, so important. Steve, can you show me how it works? Can I, can I see what this looks like? Absolutely. Perhaps the best thing to do though is have a quick look at what a notification looks like and, and the process. Fantastic. So here we go. Get my device and uh, typically in order to get a notification on your phone you would swipe down on an Android device. So there we go, there you go, straight away we have a notification. So we'll click on that one and it takes you through to um, a page, this page here, which basically says, hey this is what it's all about, uh, have you got it, are you in? I'm going to say yes and then we click through and it puts a, a widget on, on your screen, on your Android device and then up at the top right hand side you see those three little dots there, it says configure or add to home screen. So we're going to add to home screen and then there we have it, the widget's there nearby, click on it and as you can see it highlights and uh, showcases those three different messages beautifully. So, Steve, have you got any examples of the kind of businesses that can use this and benefit from this? Me, personally, I think every business, any business, could find a use for it. I, okay. I've not come across a business yet that I thought, oh, that wouldn't work. But here's a, here's a, good, uh, a good one for you. Uh, estate agents. Um, estate agents tend to be, when it comes to technology, in my opinion, they tend to be kind of ahead of the curve of most people. And they're not, they're not shy about incorporating new technology within their industry. So typically, um, an estate agent might give three beacons to a householder that wants to sell their property. Um, advising them to put maybe one in the, the, the window, probably the busiest window in the, in the house that looks out onto a street or, or whatever. Um, and then maybe put two on their keychains, one for his wife, one for the guy, and then wherever they go, they will be advertising their property. So let's say, let's say they go to a concert. Could be 10,000 people at a concert. People with Android dev devices will be checking their notifications at some point, and they will potentially be getting their property advert. Uh, when they click through to it, uh, it would likely take them to a video of the property showcasing all the things that are wonderful about their home. Uh, imagine you went into the city. Uh, imagine you just went to a coffee shop. People would be picking up that notification and going, oh wow, this is amazing. So yeah, that's a, that's a great use case that we, we're already involved in. Okay, 
Fantastic. What about in somewhere like quite central, like a shopping mall? How would that, how would that work? Shopping mall? Brilliant. Uh, imagine you'd got some kind of sandwich bar. You're going to be mobbed between 11 and say 3. But wouldn't you like some customers maybe between 9 and 11.30? So maybe you had a beacon that uh, did a special meal deal between those hours. Uh, so they could, there could be a message going out about a meal deal, they click through. We've integrated landing pages now so they could showcase that meal deal on the landing page and uh, they could maybe, you could incorporate it with a coupon or something like that, you know? So that would be a way of bringing more revenue into your business, which is what we're in business for. Amazing. Totally. So I understand how it works for static businesses. Mm -hmm. What's it like for mobile? <laughs> I think it's even better for mobile. Um, and the reason I say that is that uh, there are a lot of guys out there that, uh, you know, they're joiners, they're plumbers, they're heating engineers perhaps, uh, and they are fantastic at what they do. But maybe they're not so fantastic at sales and marketing. So this is where the beacon would come into its own. If a heating engineer like TonyTheGasMan.com had one in the front of his van, um, then it, while he's indoors servicing somebody's boiler for potentially an hour, Outside, in his van, his beacon's sending out a message to the whole street, saying, hey, TonyTheGasMan.com's here, I'm just in your street, why don't you give me a call, uh, why don't you look at my services, see how good I am, look at my testimonials. Uh, and that would engage his potential audience and, and bring in new business. Another example of mobile, perhaps best to show you. Yeah. Um, we have a little sample here. Uh, we'll just uh, have a look at one of the no notifications on one of these beacons here. So it says, great coffee doesn't come in an instant uh, click through. So when the person clicks through, it takes them to uh, a landing page, which I mentioned before, a new integration we've got. It uh, says they need coffee. Come on over. We're very close. We are dark steam division. And it also says, if you, haven't uh, if you have clicked on a notification on your phone, then come on over. We must be very close. Click on our Facebook link to see where we are. And once you click through on the Facebook page there, look, you've got a picture of actually where they are on site, which means it's easy to find them. So that's a great case. Really useful for both sides. Both sides, totally. Love it. So is this mainly for sales? Is that, is that what <coughs> businesses would use this for? Well, some businesses, uh, obviously, you know, would use it for sales and marketing. But... It has much more benefits than that. Um, user experience, for example, is a fantastic thing to tap into. So if you were involved with a museum, perhaps, uh, or you had a gallery, then you could um, put beacons in your property and uh, put uh, notifications on the wall saying, check your notifications. Um, when somebody's looking at a beautiful painting, maybe they want to know a bit more about the artist. They could click through on the notification. It could take them to a whole history about this artist, maybe videos as well. Likewise, if there's an artifact in a gallery, it could take you to the country the artifact came from and the history of how it was found. And yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. And uh, it really, really, the beacons work really well uh, where, where people are, have dwell time, really. Dwell time? Yeah, you know, dwell time. <laughs> you don't know I dwell don't, time. I don't know dwell time. Well, it's just where we hang about, man. Just okay. where we hang about, it's where we dwell. So, um, coffee shops, museums, like we were saying before, restaurants. When you go to a restaurant, typically how long are you there for? Not five minutes, is it? <laughs> no, you're an, an hour, hour and a half. Well, we know that our average Android user checks their notifications on average, wait for it, every 13 minutes. Wow. Staggering, isn't it? So if you're at a restaurant, typically you've checked your notification four times, probably without even realising you've done it four times in the hour. If you were in that restaurant, then maybe the restaurateur would like to maybe offer you a, a special offer, something to add to your, to add to your bill, really. <laughs> um, or, you know, it could be if you're in a coffee shop, um, something like this, a nightclub perhaps, uh, a bar, pub, uh, you name it. Uh, anywhere where people are sat around dwelling is a great place. So yeah, dwell time's good. Okay, so it sounds really useful. But how user friendly is it? Is it easy for me to change notifications, put them up? What's, what's it like? It's like a lot of thing, lots of things in our modern world. Um, initially, they can seem a bit daunting. Uh, and 
scary. But the reality is, it's click and point these days for most things. All we have to do is spend a few minutes just coming to terms with what we've got and how it works. As I mentioned before, we have this integration which creates free landing pages for people. This is an absolutely free service. Now, just have a look at the screen here. We'll just, uh, we'll just log into, into the back office here. And as you can see, the campaign's been set up. It's got a, a logo's been uploaded, a picture of the product's been uploaded. As you'll note there, there's a URL that it, that it will take them to. And uh, there's a little bit of description about, um, about the product. Um, so if you wanted to change that from going to a landing page to a Facebook page, you just put the Facebook page URL in the URL spot. If you want to change the uh, message, then you just go into description, type in, and you're done. It's, it's really easy. So uh, all you've got to remember to do is when you go to the bottom, hit the save button. <laughs> but you could literally change your message in moments. Fantastic. So finally, is this like spam? Oh, come on. <laughs> Seriously? I can see where you're coming from. Um, but the thing to think about is most of us, the majority of us, have already opted in for all these things. And what are we really saying to ourselves when we pick up our phone, you know, in those, in those bored moments maybe, and swipe down to check our notifications? We're, saying, we're really saying, you know, what's happening in my world? What's going on around me? I'm interested to know. Um, so it's at that point they would get the notification if indeed there was a beacon in their vicinity. And it's, it's not the kind of notification that's going to buzz in your pocket or light up your phone. Now that would be spammy. Totally agree with you on that one. But because we've opted in and then we're opting in again to say what's going on around me, then you're getting the notification. You can choose to look at it, swipe it away or just ignore it. Um, a lot of people are also concerned about data. And what you really need to think about is that the Pioneer Advertising Beacon is a bit like the lighthouse at the coast. The lighthouse is relevant to some people, but sending its message to everybody. Um, and it collects no data. A lighthouse collects no data, it's just a one-way message. And it's the same with the beacon. It's just a one-way message, it's saying, hey, I'm over here, have a look at me if you want to. You don't have to, you, a lot of people won't. But it's just saying, hello, I'm here, have a look. So, that's... That's the beacon. Steve, thank you so much. I've learned so much about the importance of proximity marketing. Um, so if our viewers want to get in touch with you, how would they go about doing that? Well, it's great to see that people will be listening on the <laughs> channel. So just get in touch within the members area within the channel. We'll be happy to help or happy just to chat through as to whether the beacons could be of any use to any of you. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.